welcome welcome thank you so much for subscribing to this youtube channel the headlines hoyetola's wife attack Oshun government bans roadside trading following the recent attack by some hoodlums who attacked governor adigwe gaoyetola's wife mrs kafayat hoyetola at wode ide market Oshun government on tuesday announced that it will no longer condone display of wares on the roads and pedestrian walkways. Russian government made a disclosure through Commissioner for Information and Civic Orientation, Funke Egbemude. Following the recent attack by some hoodlums, the Russian government made a disclosure through the Commissioner for Information and Civic Orientation, Funke Egbemude, in a statement released on Tuesday night after the state executive council meeting. Oshun Defender reports that Oshun residents have been trading and display of goods on the roadside before the attack on Oshun First Lady, which led to Oshun government to ban roadside trading. She said the ban became necessary because of growing traffic, snail, and danger to everybody using the market. According to the statement, Oshun state government is worried about the increasing danger that roadside display of wares is posing to its residents and citizens. The state executive council today set up a special tax force to stop the trend. This team will pay unscheduled visits to the market and arrest those obstructing traffic with their wares. The team will work with the Federal Road Safety Corps and the other law enforcement agencies to ensure safety in our market. The state can no longer fold its arms while some strangers, while some traders in our market, especially weekly markets, take over the motorways and pedestrian walkways with their wares. The ugly and unsafe trend must stop. Hmm. 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 Oh, okay. This directive has been pertinent in the view of increasing bottlenecks and security breach along market corridors with vehicular and pedestrian traffic now contending for space and mid trading activities on the same spot. The government has immediately set up a special tax force that will ensure compliance with safe conduct in our market and ensure the safety of road users. It is therefore calling on all traders and their patrons to comply with this directive as a tag force team will operate without prior notice and those arrested will be persecuted swiftly. Mm. Traders and artisans who have encroached on the main road and walkways with their wares are hereby directed to vacate such unauthorized trading spots with immediate effect. This move is in the interest of all residents as the safety of Russian citizens remains a priority of the government. It is therefore necessary for all concerned to work with the government to end this unsafe practice, the statement reads. Okay, so, some days ago, the first lady of Russian state was, you know, manhandled by some hoodlums, and then, the state government for Ocean State came up with, they created a special tax force, you know, to cope this. And they are blaming the roadside sellers, those displaying their ways on the roads, on the pedestrian walkways. Hmm, this is kind of sad. You know, this thing has so meaning to it. One, yes, we've noticed if you go to most markets, these people really cause traffic on the road. Cars need to drive very slowly when going into driving into a market because of the way people display their wares on the road. And this sometimes cause accident. Yes, so in one mind I'm kinda of supporting the decision that was made by the ocean government because um this has really been affecting the market people, people coming in to buy, people selling also. And secondly, people are raising it another way. That's just because the first lady of Washington State was attacked. Now something was done 
asked about it immediately. It didn't take 24 hours. But we have been hearing of cases and they've always been quiet. Is it that we are not citizens of Nigeria? Is it that the government doesn't care about us? What is going on? Because a governor's wife was attacked. You quickly created a tax force to cop this. But you've been hearing stories, people come on social media and say that something happened, there was an accident because of some sort of people. They didn't see anything. Now they are saying that it's because, you know, it's for the good of all the citizens or the residents of Ocean State. They should not be. The government should be consigned for all the citizens, all the residents in the state and in the country at large. They should not just spring up into action because of one of them, one of the elects. We are attacked. No, this is not fair. This is a discrimination against the poor masses. The poor masses have been going through this, you know, for a long time. Sometimes you go to some places and there'll be a huge traffic. And you'll be like, what is happening at the front? Don't know there's people that are there displaying their ways. They never discussed about this before. They never came up with a solution. But because the Ocean State first, first Lady was attacked, it springed up into action within a few hours. This should not be so. The government should learn to protect our citizens. Give them maximum security. This is what we see even in the full and is killing the Yorubas. Not just the Yorubas, killing people all around, going to their families, killing people, kidnapping the Boko Haram's kidnapping people. The government has been quiet. But just imagine one of them is kidnapped, or one of their child, one of their children is kidnapped. You would see how they would tell the U.S. government to bring in more soldiers. But it will spring into action. This should not be. This should not be happening. This should cherish people's life. Nobody's life is greater than the other. The government should learn to protect its people. They should learn this. So let's go to um, the comments. What people have been commenting. Haji Akim said... Because your wife was attacked. What of the poor masses that have been going through this pain for a long time? Olori Bogu politician, they only care for themselves and their families. You see what I'm saying? This was happening because of the Ocean State Governor's wife was attacked. They sprang into action. They only care about their families, about themselves. They should never be so. The government should learn to treat our citizens equally. We also have rights, rights to live, no different rights. And these are inalienable. These are rights that are already put in our constitution of Nigeria. So please, you should be treated very nice, please. From now on, for the government should learn to treat us well. So let's, let me hear your, your opinion on this. Let me hear what you think about what is happening in Russian states. Because a governor's wife was attacked. A law was made instantly. If this is how the government has been treating Nigerians generally, then Nigeria will be a peaceful place for everybody to live in. But no, they only care about themselves and their family. They're only concerned about themselves and their family. Let me hear about what you think about what is happening in the state? What just happened? Let me hear your, co um, your comment on this. Thank you so much for your time. Please don't forget to like this video channel. And for those who have not subscribed, please don't forget to click on the red button and subscribe. Thank you so much for your time. God bless.